Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Oxhorn and today I've got two mods for you that are gonna make dealing with your companions a whole lot easier, it's gonna make much more sense, and it's gonna be a lot more fun. Now I don't know about you, but it always bothered me that as soon as I take Nick Valentine with me, he never goes back to his detective agency. If I send him to one of my settlements after I'm done traveling with him, he stays at that settlement forever, leaving Ellie alone no longer doing his detective work, and I have no way to send him back. Introducing a mod called Companions Go Home by Registrator2000. This mod allows you to send your companions back to the original locations where you found them. Typically, the companion dismissal process goes like this. You dismiss a companion or you recruit another companion, causing the other one to leave your company. Let's head out. Well, all right. I know I'm leaving her in good hands, Nick. Be careful out there. I'll keep out of trouble if she does. A menu then pops up with all of your settlements. Now the game doesn't tell you this, but if you press tab, instead of selecting one of these settlements, the companion will go back to his or her last location. If the last location the companion was at was his or her original home, then the companion will go back there. But if the last location was one of your settlements, then that forever removes the ability to send that companion back to his or her original home. So in this example, the last location that Preston Garvey was at was the Kingsport Lighthouse. I'm not going to choose any of these settlements, and instead I'm going to press tab. As you can see, we get a message that Preston is going back to the Kingsport Lighthouse, since that was the last location that he was at. Now, I just recruited Nick Valentine here at the Egret Tours Marina. This means that at one time I sent him here, which means that if I were to ever press tab again, he would go back here, since this was the last location that he was at. However, this mod gives you the ability to reset his last location to his true home. Once you install the mod, two new items appear in the Aid tab of your Pip-Boy inventory. Scroll all the way down until you find two items. One says send companion home and the other says send companion to home plate. So this mod allows you to send companions to your home plate in Diamond City as well. We're gonna click on send companion home and as you can see, we get a message in the top left-hand corner that says that Nick Valentine will return home okay. to Valentine Detective Agency. Okay, Val then once done, talk with Nick. Probably about time we parted ways. Shame, I guess I'll just head home. Won't be the same without you. When the menu comes up, instead of selecting one of your settlements, simply press tab. And even though the last location he was at was the Egret Tours Marina, off he walks towards Diamond City. I'm so grateful for this mod because there were a couple of companions whom I thought didn't really fit in any of my settlements. Nick is one of them. He's a full-time detective. He only goes with me on cases, like for the Far Harbor quests. Piper is another one. She's a full-time journalist who's writing up all of those papers that we get at public occurrences if she's always gallivanting around the wastelands with me. And also, what about Nat? Her little sister. Who's gonna look after her? Using this mod, you can send Piper back to public occurrences, and you can always go back there and recruit her if you need her. Now, I mentioned that there were two mods that I wanted to talk about today. The second one is called Emissary of Wind Companion Dwelling. This mod revamps the original homes of many of your companions. It gives them a lore-friendly home that makes sense in the world, and it makes sense with the character. I'll show you all of the revamped companion homes that this mod creates. First, let's go talk with Hancock. Now, I've got him at my Sunshine Tidings co-op. I'm going to use Companions Go Home home first to reset his home location to the old state house in Good Neighbor. After all, he is the mayor of Good Neighbor. And when he's not exploring the world with me, Good Neighbor still needs this mayor. Plus, I'm sure Fahrenheit might get a little lonely. You should head back. Yes, all good things gotta end. I'll head home. You come find me when you decide you need some more trouble in your life. There, now that I've reset his home location, he heads on back to the old state house. Heading up the stairs, and lo and behold, Hancock is back where he usually is, in his home location at the old state house. And here we can explore the new decorations that came with Emissary of Winds mod. She basically decorated this entire middle floor of the old state house. Hancock is standing here at a chemistry station that Emissary of Wind has decorated up, which of course makes a lot of sense with the character as Hancock does love his 
his chems. He's got a brand new kitchen in one corner, and then a nice decorated terminal up against the wall. Hancock's drug of choice is Mentats. He likes to feel like an intellectual, so Emissary of Wind has given him a nice bookcase with all sorts of pre-war books. In the right-hand closet door is Hancock's bathroom. We find his red frock coat and his laundry on a shelf to the right. It's decorated up with towels and he's got a suitcase underneath. And of course in the sink we not only find his toothpaste and toothbrush but a bunch of chems. Apparently Hancock likes a nice long bath. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I don't know if that's really in character, but he's got a table out there with reading material, a bathrobe, and a whole bunch of wine. He's got a stack of cigars. That's lovely. A lovely little place of solitude for our very good Hancock. And in the back of the building is Hancock's personal room. Now, he does have a double bed. He and Fahrenheit might be more than just work associates. And interesting enough the mod author decided that handcuffs were appropriate to lie on Hancock's bed. He has art on the walls, comics under the tables, of course a stash of chems every which way, and then the mod author put weapons on display, another bookshelf, and a whole bunch of booze. So there you go, you don't have to feel bad about sending Hancock back to the old state house. He now has a nicely decorated little home. The mod also gives Piper a brand new home interior. Now the mod author made sure not to change things too much, because many of these places have important quests that the mod author didn't want to interfere with. But as you can see, entering Piper's home, we find a nice little bathroom to the left. It still maintains the look and feel of Diamond City. There's a nearby kitchen right next to the bathroom, complete with a stove and a whole bunch of food. Piper has her own laundry over against a wall by a radio. And then the mod author decorated up a nice living area in the middle right next to her printing press. There are books on a bookshelf with a giant fat man, apparently. Couches and a coffee table decorated with magazines and food. And then in the back, young Nat has her her own area as well. After all, Piper has to share this room with her younger sister. Nat has all sorts of toys on the floor where she's been coloring. Looks like she's been using paint cans and soup cans as some sort of obstacle course for a toy car. There are more toys stacked up against the wall, and she has a nice Jangles the Moon Monkey on her bed. Going upstairs, we enter Piper's boudoir. Lots of comic book posters on the walls, and a whole lot of fashion magazines. La Coiffe is a prominent theme here. Her costume is folded neatly on top of her dresser, and the mod author added some road goggles, which make a lot of sense because in some of the concept art for Piper, she was originally conceived as wearing road goggles. The mod author must have known this, and so we find a pair of road goggles lying here. Now the mod also comes with a new home for Kate at the combat zone. To find it, go through the door to Tommy's office. You're gonna find a brand new staircase against the wall. Heading up the staircase, and we enter a very small room filled with boxes. The room we find is sparsely decorated. Kate has a tiny dirty mattress on the ground with a teddy bear on top, a few magazines laying at the foot of her bed. She's got some chems on a box near to her mattress and a tiny little bowl to use as a wash basin with a pile of her clothes on the ground. What I appreciate about this is the mod author kept this true to the character. This is exactly what her bedroom would have looked like if she actually had a place to call her own. It's in a storage area. She doesn't even have a bed. She just has a mattress. Remember, she was miserable at the combat zone. She hated being there. It's a nice little bit of an immersive touch. In my game, I decided to keep Kate at one of my settlements because I figured she would have preferred to live in a brand new home that she helped build, surrounded by a bunch of interesting people who aren't making demands of her or trying to fight her. But if you use the mod, you can send Kate back to the combat zone if you want. Next is Listening Point Bravo. The mod author decorated this up to be a home for Paladin Dance. Upon reaching the bunker, we find armor and weapon workbenches in the corner, and then the wrecked door is removed, allowing us to enter without having to go through the cave. To the left, Paladin Dance has a nice new bathroom, complete with a laundry room where he can launder up his Brotherhood of Steel jumpsuit. Dance has a dummy for target practice, and his workstation is decorated with all sorts of military magazines and weapons. He's got a filled refrigerator and then a kitchen to the left with, interestingly enough, a chalkboard with a map on it looking for railroad safe houses, which I suppose is something a Brotherhood of Steel soldier would do. Also note there are dozens of bottles of booze on the kitchen counter, which makes a lot of sense due to the circumstances that brought Paladin Dance to Listening Point Bravo. He has a nice little bed with a duffel bag underneath, again more booze nearby, and then a small exercise facility in the corner. Lots of buff out, purified water, and of course Gwinnett beer. And interestingly enough, a lot of institute food rations. I'm not sure how those got there. And then he's got his own little workout bench. Because as a Brotherhood of Steel Soldier, he's got to keep fit. Complete 
with a punching bag. Heading into the cave and we've got two power armor repair stations. Because of course, Paladin Dance loves himself some power armor. So there you go, with this mod installed, Dance has a lovely little place to call his own and where he can entertain company, like Scribe Halen whenever she decides to visit. And finally, the mod comes with a brand new home for McCready. In my game, McCready was at Ten Pines Bluff, so I used Companions Go Home to send him back to Good Neighbor. Then I went to explore his renovated home. His home is now the entire VIP section and going through the hallway, we find that he's got a nice closed door to give him some privacy. This VIP section has been converted into his private quarters. He's got some posters on the wall and then there's a door leading to his private bathroom. Here he's got a tub and shower, a toilet, some magazines on the floor, and a nice shelf with towels and soap. McCready got back to his home just as I was leaving the bathroom, showing that the mod did indeed work. He walked all the way from Ten Pines Bluff back to Good Neighbor. He still has his couches here in this living area, but now he's got a nice big double bed, complete with a sniper rifle lying on top of it. Remember, he is a marksman. My favorite thing is this cool little weapons workbench, and it does function as a weapons workbench. There are a bunch of weapons lying on top of this counter, and you can activate it to work on your weapons. He's got a chest of drawers to the side, and it is lovingly decorated with the toy wooden soldier that he gives you. If you've maxed affinity with McCready, you know why this is important to him personally. And then we find his clothing in one of the open drawers. Uh, for some reason in my game, the clothing dropped underneath the dresser. Maybe I'll use console commands to fix that. Now, part of me thinks that this one might not make a lot of sense. After all, this is supposed to be the VIP section of the third rail, the bar on Good Neighbor. I don't know if it was ever really intended to be his personal apartment. I always got the idea that McCready was just in the VIP section when we found him, not that he actually lived there. So in my game, McCready is another one for whom I would make a home at one of my settlements and not send him back to the third rail. But if you want to keep your McCready, at the third rail with this mod you can make him a nice little home and there you go ladies and gentlemen two fun mods that help you manage your companions in fallout 4 i've had some gameplays where i've had to use certain companions simply to proceed in the storyline but i never really wanted to build on any settlements and yet i would end up collecting all of these companions in one large settlement in this way i can send them back to their original locations where they can carry on with their own lives a welcome change in my opinion do you know of any other mods concerning companions that you think my audience would like to know about? Let me know in the description below, and maybe I'll include them in an upcoming video. I produce a new video every single day of the week, so be sure to subscribe to find out what I publish tomorrow. And if you'd like to chat about this topic with other like-minded individuals on the Oxhorn Community Discord server, you can click on the invitation link in the description below. And if you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Patreon subscribe Subscribers can access to a private channel on my Discord server, as well as a bunch of other cool Oxhorn perks. But more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so glad that you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early with a brand new video.